Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for George and Jack. George. You're George? Pleasure, yes. And you're Jack? Jack? Yeah, very nice wow. to meet you. My son and my daughter talk about you guys all the time. They're like family to us. So I need a new sound system in this thing. George and Jack are both Armenian, so maybe they'll have a good lead on somebody Kim could date. Here's the thing. I was wondering if you guys knew any really great guys for Kim. That's tough to match somebody up with Kim. That's a tough one. She's uh, very Perfect. unique. Yeah. There are a ton of Armenians here in Glendale, so while I'm in the neighborhood, what can it hurt to check out a few places here? Might be a long shot, but what have I got to lose? I see one! Stop. How cute is this? Look, Armenian, Arabic, Persian, and Russian. Do a lot of single guys come in here to get their baklava? A lot of family? single guys, a lot of single girls, a lot of married people. Everyone loves baklava. Do you have any friends that are single? I'm of trying to set my daughter up with a really cute Armenian boy. Of course. Know of any really cute young Armenian men that are single? Do you understand English? A little. A little. This is going to be a really big challenge, but it's OK. I'm up for it. My mom's looking for an Armenian man for my sister. You can call me. I'll give you my business card, no? Can I give you a hug? Sure. Oh, 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 thank oh. you. Are you Armenian? No. No. <laughs> I'm looking for a nice Armenian boy for my daughter. I am a priest. Oh, right. Hey, Macy. This is the land of your people. Enjoy. This is not the land. This is Glendale. Kendall, come in here and bond with me now. What up? Pretend like you like me. Hey, Mom. Hey, Kim. Ooh, I want a bite of the apple. My car is in the shop again. I have to go have Shiva pick it up tomorrow. Oh, my god. I went to go see the Platinum guys. Mm -hmm. George at Platinum, he's doing my iPod thing over again in the G-Wagon. Mm -hmm. And he actually says he has some really cool guy to set you up with, like on a blind date. What do you do blind dates? My mom is absolutely crazy. She's trying to set me up on a blind date with someone that she's never even seen. Who is this guy? Like, details. What does he look like? What does he do? How old is he? He's Armenian. Is he a heady beast? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Kim really realizes how much work and energy goes into finding her the perfect date. I don't want to like go on a blind routine. date. Well, you're going to go. I'm going to make you go. You're going to make me. Well, I've already it's talked to the guy on the phone. Well, you can untalk to him. Here it is. Am... Aleko's number. There you go. I am not calling you him. You call him. Sorry. Yeah. Kim, you have to call him. Absolutely All right, not. I'll email you this number. Sorry. This isn't a Gucci store, is it? No. It's cute, though. This is a huge store. I wonder if Rain has a bike. And How about this? You could get this for true. These are fishing rods. MJ and I are Dick's Sporting Goods today because the holidays are right around the corner. So even though we have some time until we roll into Christmas, I'm here to help MJ get her holiday shopping done. Oh, here's the real basketballs. Why don't we get this for um, Mason? He's got a gear. You think? Excuse me, do you know anything about basketballs? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah, I actually played basketball in high school and college. Oh. Do you play this with your kids? I don't got no kids myself. Oh, you don't? Are you single? Yeah, yeah, really? Walking up and down the aisles at a sporting goods store, it suddenly hit me that this is the perfect place for Chloe to flirt with somebody. There's a lot of cute guys in here. I guess you're looking, right? Well, I'm not looking. I'm just <laughs> it looking. sounds like you are. No, I'm looking for <laughs> Chloe. Oh, OK. When I was single at Chloe's age, it was so fun to flirt. Hello. Good. <laughs> Trying to look for a couple gifts. Do you come here often? <laughs> I have a daughter, actually, Chloe. I know Chloe's gonna kill me, but I don't care. I think she should have some fun and put herself out there because I don't want her to be so bitter about ever dating again. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. What is that? Formal. Are you an athlete? I'm a trainer. 
Oh, you're a trainer. Yeah. My daughter's actually looking for a trainer right now, so that's such a coincidence. Oh, yeah. This is the one you'd be training. I'm kind of familiar. <laughs> you are you? <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi, Mom. Hi, so I'm with MJ. Yeah. And this really cute guy's here. I showed him a picture. MJ just showed him your picture. You showed him Chloe's Shut picture? And he's up. all up for it. Stop, stop. My mom is being so crazy. I don't know what it is. She is ugh, foaming at the mouth for the opposite sex, or maybe just sex. I have no idea. I mean, MJ sending me pictures from a sporting goods store of these gentlemen. The shop is not open for business, though, OK? Closed. You want to talk to him? No. Yeah, no, you no, should. No, no, no. Sorry, what was your name again? No, 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 no. Jay, say hi to Chloe. How you doing, Chloe? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. He's a trainer, and I was thinking uh, maybe you guys could have a session together. Oh, OK, got to go. Bye. Have her uh, hit me up. OK, I'll tell her to look you up. <laughs> what a bust. And she's seriously no fun. If Chloe isn't going to appreciate this amazing opportunity, then I'm gonna to have to get a little more creative. Let's go, Mary Jo. This is like a singles club. You look so nice. Oh, thanks. Is this a scavenger hunt? Find the most romantic spot in the house. That's, you would know better than I do, I don't. Kim. Mom. Kim and Chloe said that we're having a family dinner tonight in Malibu, but our family dinners don't usually start with cryptic love notes and clues. Where are they? There's nobody here. I'm not really sure what's going on, but they're definitely up to something. What is this? Follow the rose petals. What is this? I feel this? like we're on, like, The Bachelor. Oh, there's Swiss flags. <laughs> are there Swiss? Yeah. Is there Swiss yodeling going on? Is this supposed to be Switzerland? Evidently, Switzerland has never looked so good. So this is like them setting us up. Or is this you setting it up? No, I didn't have anything to do with this. Are you sure? I think I would say right now I did this for us. First of all, I wouldn't have yodeled. OK. And second, I don't think I would have done a lot of these things. Is this what they eat in Switzerland? I don't know. It's nice. I thought this was a family dinner. So did I. I mean, it's still a family dinner, technically. Yeah. But I think it's pretty obvious they tried to set us up. You know, I think the family puts a lot of pressure on Courtney more so than me in regards to them wanting her to be back together with me. They just see two people that spend a lot of time together, do a lot of things with their children, so why can't we have a perfect little family and a white picket fence? But it's just not that simple. But I think to have a moment to just be together and to see if we even like being together without the kids, you know, is a cool thing. Like, I understand the whole trying to get us alone, but what's going on with the Swiss thing? Because you talk about Switzerland? I guess. I talk about boats a lot. You don't see a boat sitting out there. I don't know. I think it's the 15 minute Switzerland rule. The 15 minute Switzerland rule? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You meet a Swiss guy in 15 minutes, something goes down. That means he's the one. <laughs> it does. <laughs> no, I just made it up. I just joke that I'm going to move to Switzerland. Oh. I mean, I guess it's cute that they try to do this slash annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not bad for you and I to have some time without the kids. Yeah. Maybe this one looks better? Yeah. So anyways, I just feel like I'm in a different place where I just don't feel like I need that. Like I'm content with like hanging out with my friends. I just feel like I'm on a different vibe. Like I feel so content Good. with just myself. Like Good. I don't feel like I need anybody. And I'm saying, because you're in a different place yeah. than that, and if that's like what you're into, like I don't want to be judgmental of you for being like... Like you were a month ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
but I don't want to be doing like I know and like I the might want second, to be like you in a week like I'd rather hang out at the house and be silly and you know dance and whatever instead of like you know find like like I just don't feel like I need anyone else to hang out with oh, for texting sure. random guys for that sure. are meaningless that's way better for you yeah it feels good to open up to Larson, you know, really have her understand that I'm just in a different place and my energy isn't going towards partying or guys because even if we're at different places in our lives, she'll still always be one of my best friends. Trust me, you'll go through 10 more phases in the next like three months. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going through different eras we're gonna be mm -hmm. 90 oh my gosh I are we gonna that. be here at 90 riding jet skis yeah on ourselves but yeah <laughs>